So this was definitely the spiciest take of the night from Go Away with Jay. She said, why don't you just call them... I can't say that word. It's the C word. Racial C word. Racial epithet used by her put in my mouth. Why don't you just call them and get it over with, Ethan? Here's why you can't imagine little girls and grown men jerking off to little K-pop boys. Because you view Asian men as inferior to fine white specimens such as yourself. Well, let me unpack this. First of all, I never said that I can't imagine little girls and grown men jerking off the little K-pop boys. I can't imagine it. That's the problem. I don't want that images in my head. You're saying I, uh, she made it sexual. You're, what you're saying is that you can imagine it. She can imagine little girls and grown men jerking off the little K-pop boys. She's saying, I can't imagine it. Back me up, Bila. <laughs> uh, no, but she's calling you a racist white man. Mm. White specimen. I am a fine... And by the way, for her to say that I'm a fine white specimen, I mean, yeah, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm a fine white specimen. I put that out daily. And if you've got a problem with that, then you just don't have eyes. Because this is white... This is the, this is the face of white power. This is the face of white supremacy. Right, Eva? Yes. She put words in my mouth, and I don't appreciate that. I don't think that uh, this is equal. Me disliking K-pop is equal to me calling them calling them inferior, and that's pretty harsh and completely not in the. And clip. by the way, she's saying I'm not attracted to them because they're not fine white specimens. Those guys, I would fuck the shit out of all of those guys, bro. I would go tip to tip. They're hot. They're spicy. That's why I called them twinks because they're thin. They're hairless, and they're very fit, and that's just my taste. I think it looks great, and I would, I personally would ha have no problem jerking off to them. I like it. So, shout out to uh, Go Away With Jay uh, for the very insightful comment. And now let's look at some of the favorite highlights from the H33's over trending uh, tweets here. Let's have a look. Hard to say. How hard is it to say I don't like K-pop and move on? That's exactly what we did. <laughs> we talked about it for like literally a max of 30 seconds. Actually, it's two minutes long. Ian was talking for a minute of it, being very reasonable. But no, this grown-ass jobless man. I saw that a lot, the jobless thing. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's a pretty old school in, thing in what way to um, not consider our new age profession not a real job. It's kind of ironic for them to be like, uh, I don't recognize your untraditional job, and I want you to recognize my untraditional taste <laughs> in music. Um, jobless. It is literally my job to make fun of K-pop. I'm having this cancellation party, and I'm being paid right now. <laughs> um, H3 is over. I truly hate men. Mm. Nice. Throw that in there. That gives you credibility. Do you hate men? Ayo, I hate men. <laughs> uh, dirty, homophobic, and racist douchebag. Pick a struggle. Mm. My struggle is hating K-pop. <laughs> Here, pick up one of those horns. Here, join us. Uh, trash ass white man. I see that a lot. There's there's a lot of hate for white men, which is not very self aware when they're accusing me of being racist. Right, and also they're ignoring me. Yeah. Do they not know that you put the H H in H three? H3. Oh, oh, Eli's about to bust, bust on you. Oh, canceled. How did you feel that they are ignoring you, the female proponent? And by the way, I would also argue non white female, um, Middle Eastern. I didn't like it and I started my own hashtag, Eli's Overrate Party. <laughs> that was very clever. I like that a lot. Thank you. I like uh, it. Very good. Very good, Elo. Uh, K-pop fans realizing they're prov proving Ethan's point by overreacting. Oh, we have an ally in the mix. <laughs> uh, I felt like crying after watching that. How does he not know how he sounds? Insulting so many people just for liking music. Bro, if you're crying to this, you are f so fragile. It scares me. And then they go on. Uh, update, I did end up crying. 
because I showed my mom the video and she saw nothing wrong with it. The world is ugly. <laughs> Shout out to his mom, by the way. <laughs> I, I added that one because it just... Yeah, that, that's that one really got me. I, I love the update. <laughs> I love the update. So his mom is awesome. I feel so bad for the that. I want to get mom. another update. Yeah, uh, further updates. <laughs> further update. My mom banned me from K-pop. She says I'm unstable and fragile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta blow the horn with us. Everybody's blowing the horn. Okay. Here, take that. Uh, don't I cr- uh, update? I cried when I showed this my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard. <laughs> Uh, shout out to his mom. Imagine hating an entire country's music just because they started doing well in America. Racist ass piece of shit. (laughs) Whoa, listen to my sound. (laughs) That's the sound of me being canceled. K-pop is not a whole country's music, by the way. I feel like that's a racist assumption. Yeah, there is Korean music that is not K-pop. Mmm, Dan is coming in strong. So let's get this straight. The racist white man, uh, from the people that hate the racist white man, we hate white men. We're ignoring his wife of color. We are generalizing the whole music of Korea. Excuse me? (laughs) Whoa. (coughs) Um, H3H3's over party? More like H3H3's back party. Hey. (laughs) People who use H3's over party to try and shun H3 while only proving his point. I love these memes. He's got, his brain is missing, but he imagines himself with a huge brain. <laughs> are these like ironic rage uh, comments? What, are, what kind of era of rage comic is this? <laughs> like self-aware rage comic? Um, maybe if you weren't an ugly ass, racist, homophobic, misogynic asshole, could you fit any more adjectives in there? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe, but too bad I am. Bro, misogynistic. You're ignoring my wife. I'm not homophobic. I would fuck those guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? They probably don't have hair in their asshole, naturally. Do you understand that's what I'm into? (laughs) Must be so easy for them to wipe. White men. I'm not surprised. What kind of... you (laughs) You can't just leave it at that. White men. All right. Uh, nah, but for real, can we make H3's over party trending? This is so disgusting and not at all what ARMY are about. And this is so disruptive to the boys. What is this whole thing about ARMY? That's what BTS fans uh, call themselves. Oh, good. Uh... good. Well, we're the H3 ARMY, so when wars collide, baby. <laughs> I think H3 ARMY is stronger than BTS ARMY. Fuck white men. Fuck men. Fuck old ass hags. Is that you? Oh. Did they address you finally? Fuck men in general. Fuck boomers and fuck racists. How do you write fuck racist in the same <laughs> sentence as fuck white men, fuck men? That's crazy. How are they so angry? I, why are they so angry? That's exactly right. These are, uh, I don't know who these, oh, thank you. Why are they so angry? They're so upset. Here again, racist white men are my least favorite people. Okay, well, good thing we don't need to be friends. Uh, he was over when he sexualized lesbians on International Lesbian Day. Oh, what did I do? I ain't forget. What did I do on International Lesbian Day? Some weird, some joke? I think you tweeted something about joke. how you identify as a lesbian because you like women or something. Oh. It was yeah. something kind of dumb. Right. Honestly. It's not but good. who cares? Oh, Dan, are you criticizing my lesbian joke? Well, it just it was a dumb joke, I'm saying, but also not anything to... You don't think that was highbrow? <laughs> you, don't, you didn't think that was thought-provoking? I, I have, um, I have <laughs> blue water. water. That one. Um, dude, how do you not sexualize lesbians? <laughs> what? What? Dude, lesbians... Fu- I mean, I know it's obvious, but... You're telling me you never jerked off to lesbian porn, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna stand here before us and say that? No, I will not. I will not try and make that argument. Thank you. I'm not gonna die on that hill. I mean, even I'm, okay. Let's not die on that hill. Exactly. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can pretty much say that at any time, and it'd be true, though. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get Ethan's shock value, but even if you don't like BTS, respect the fact that they are incredibly talented performers and have built a mega fan base of people who love and support them. 
Respect the drip, Karen. <laughs> did I just call it called Karen? Okay, I respect her. I when res- did we say that I we respect don't? It. I, maybe it came off. Maybe if I can make one retract, not a retraction, but a asterisk. <laughs> I respect the hustle. I do think they're very gifted performers. I've seen them dance. It's quick. They're quick. <laughs> they're quick, boy. You know what I'm saying? They're good. They got moves. I respect <laughs> that. That's right. He is so ugly. Oh. If I were the wife, I would dump his filthy, disgusting ass in the oh. garbage where he belongs. Thoughts, Hila? Just spilling the tea. Um, no, I have no thoughts. Okay. Wow. I'm going to take that as you agreeing with them. No. <laughs> uh, imagine hating on BTS because they're Asian. Who said that? Only white men things. Okay. There's a lot of these. Why right? would you immediately take that uh, in like translation from what we said? I think if that I could, we hate them because they're Asian. If I could, take I a would guess. never even think that. Like, why? If I could take a guess, I think that K-pop gets made fun of a lot internationally, and their their immediate retort is that it's white men and xenophobia and this kind of thing. I don't think they look into it that much. They just they kind of fall back on that argument of it being like anti-asian um that's my guess you know they've pulled out that white man card like immediately how hard is it is it really that hard to perceive that it's like their boy it's not for everyone yeah i never liked any boy band like exactly this shit existed in the West 20 years ago don't and just... a lot of people hated it then too right like, it's the same I don't type like of music the, I never liked the music right and but don't you just don't can I acknowledge how bizarre it is that like boy bands in Korea have now become so popular internationally I mean that's super bizarre that's super unexpected twist in culture I guess I that's mean, so that's I don't like actually think it's that weird well, I just think it's it, unprecedented it, it, I find it interesting how big it is like yes it's, it's bizarre come on it's it's but bizarre, it, but it has nothing. I'm to not do saying it's not warranted. The, it has nothing to do with the race. I don't know why it's like. Well, they could have been from India, Indian boy bands, or get them, uh, you know, uh, mother effing. Uh, what other races are there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think a comparable example, although it was never as big as K-pop is now, was was the J-pop thing. Like Japanese pop was got pretty big. Yeah, in the West, but it wasn't like, as big. It, it was not it, like. But yeah, it, 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 it is. I would on a find that level. equally as bizarre because it's very rare that like other. It should be that weird though. I mean, American culture gets consumed in other countries. But that's that not. But that no. But that's the. It's not. It that's the. Uh, it's just the, that's, that's the way that's it's the flowed for the last yeah yeah that's exactly. The way it's not, for a while, but I'm not saying it's so. I'm saying it's it's bizarre. It's unprecedented that Korea, a relatively you know they haven't influenced our culture before, is now making this huge wave in pop culture. What I think the... it's in, it's I mean you could say interesting, you could say bizarre, you could say unprecedented. I'm not making a comment about like uh, its value. Right. I don't like it. I got you. Yeah. The guy that like started it or Hit me whatever that, with that diet coke, you know. That was kind of his goal. It's all engineered to be like the way it is. They they train the guys. They make them all look like that, right. and they uh. Which yeah, that's that's the part that gets me is just how you know. To me, that part that is that in, it all is yeah. That part is inseparable. Like I can't really see it without seeing that part, and it, that's part of why it's so weird to me that um. That I can't really get into it because it feels so manufactured. That's something because they have these super dedicated fans that are in love with these characters. Based on what? They're super manufactured. They're super curated. There's like a tons of media about how controlling these corporate overlords are. How like just in the past two months, three K-pop idols committed suicide mm-hmm. from the immense pressure that the fans, the media, the corporate entities uh, in Korea. There's like this massive cyberbullying problem. That uh, based on stupid shit like wearing something too provocative, let's say, in public. And so they get cyber bullied out of existence by these by these very same people. And you can see how crazy they are, how like angry and passionate and just so over the top. It's just it's it's, it's wild. Reminds so, me a lot of all of the Disney stars here and how they oh, all right. end up going crazy. True. And I mean, again, like 
th- none of this is new. It, it, it yeah. it's just like with Britney Spears in the '90s and how she, you know, had a mental breakdown from shaved her head. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. like this kind of light and this kind of pressure from that young of an age. It's not healthy. I totally yeah, agree with you. Definitely. Well, what do you think about three three people, just including one on like the third? committed suicide in the past two months. That is, I mean, that sounds crazy. I don't These know enough about be... all that, but I mean, it, I, it, I was reading it doesn't that. really surprise me, which is kind of fucked up, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't they're not surprise allowed me to that... drink, right? They're not allowed to do Smoke. anything. Their whole lives wow. are completely they, curated. Sp- yeah. Oh yeah, and then they says, they're supposed to be single. Mm-hmm. The record companies uh, need yeah. them to be single. Mm-hmm. I mean, guys, the you, whole yeah, model was built yeah. here. It really is. It just, it's a reflection of Wait, it was built here. Are you saying that they that basically it is white uh, that they they reappropriated no. our no. culture? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I, but I but mean, it all started with this one guy who um, had this vision for which how, guy? A g- Korean guy? Yeah, Lee something. By the way, let me clarify about the white supremacy thing. Which part? I was simply making a joke. I'll pull out the podium. About uh, because they are accusing white racist men of he's calling me white and racist, but the boy band thing is kind of our thing, and I hated it when it was here, and I don't like it when it's there. Is that a point to make, or should I back it up and apologize? Does anyone with me? Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't following. How did you get to the boy band from white supremacy? <laughs> because they were accusing me <laughs> of being a white male that hates Korean culture. Okay. But the boy band thing started in America. Yeah. And so they appropriated our beautiful white culture of having boy bands. <laughs> and then, and I still hate it. Does it make sense? I mean, am I really, uh, is this really where I'm going with this? I, I think I know what you're saying. I think I even decipher agree with it. it. I think decipher that, it. Decipher yeah, it. Yeah, the wording Break on it that down. Was Break so it down. Little... Say it for me. Oh my God! Say it for me. It's what we, you're just reiterating what we said before. It's that this whole model By for way, uh, was, pop uh, artists exists. And it just, exists, and, it, and it's always sucked. It sucked when it was here. It sucked yes! when it's there. It I sucks. have a question. The guy uh, Sai, like PSY, was he from Korea? Yeah. Yes, he's Korean. I love that guy, dude. Everybody loves Sai. So we're not racist. Yeah. Like it's it has nothing to do with that. Oh, I'm Gundam style. <laughs> oh, 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 Gundam style. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, that's is that not K-pop? It I, is K-pop. I guess it, is it K-pop? That's a little what bit I'm more. Wondering. Yeah, it's I just mean, a it dude. Pretty much is. I think it is K-pop. I think okay. it's just a dude doing his thing, though. So maybe I could become. And he's K-pop, not a he's K-pop not a spicy fan. little twink. I don't know. That's maybe like I was already a K-pop fan, but um, just didn't realize it. I do have a problem with boy bands in general, anywhere, no matter where. Right. Mm. right. We had them in Israel, too. So it's not racist to dislike boy bands? I think it's... Um, if you universally hate them, yeah. I mean, of course not. Oh, man, why did I have to do this? Now I'm talking about... I'm, I'm stuck in a quagmire here. I wasn't trying to make this about... I was only trying to make a simple joke about that we invented boy bands and they're accusing me of being a white supremacist. That's not what it is. Like, if I liked NSYNC... And I loved NSYNC, but then I hated BTS. Maybe you could say that I'm a white supremacist because I love BTS. Are you just, is any, come on. Somebody back me up here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, right. You, you have a point there. If, if it were just about being Korean, then yeah, there would be some validity to the criticism. Thank you, Dan. Uh, I've just, there's so much here. I have to skip ahead. But here's one that, that I saw a lot. They're trying to hate on me for being uh, hating Koreans, and now they made it like this. They go, like pay- K-pop or hate it, um, joke or not a joke, I think we can all agree that little girls and masturbating should never be in the same sentence. Isn't it literally in the same sentence you just wrote? <laughs> like, if it can be in that sentence, it can be in my sentence. Okay. <sighs> I think you spent more time thinking about little girls and masturbating than I did when I was speaking. And by the way, once again, I wasn't, uh, uh, I wasn't <coughs> dwelling on it. This is, th- you get it. You get the idea, right, Elon? Mm-hmm. Here's some emails I got. These are the kinds of emails I assume that K-pop stars are getting, like, by the thousands. They go, Ethan Klein, the curse of God is upon your baby. What? They says, I'm watching the photos of your family. Your wife really look ugly. 
Oh, wow. Sorry, Ela. I think you're beautiful. I think you're a 10 out of 10. Easy. S tier. You really look ugly. Your baby looked just like you. Bro, you know how I know you're full of shit? Our baby is objectively gorgeous. You can call me and my wife ugly, but when you look at Theodore and say he's ugly, I know you're lying. You know Another one about me looking ugly? Of course, your baby will get so, so ugly. Call down the curse of heaven on your baby. I said, you are so sweet, thank you. Um, imagine getting so upset that you send this email. Yeah. And there's another one. Hey guys, Ethan Klein, your wife, Ela, looks so ugly. Hey guy. I love that. Hey guy. Ethan Klein, your wife, Ela, looks so ugly. I'm just reading this verbatim. I'm not doing like a thing. You also are so, so ugly. Your baby looked just like you. Oh, and then I didn't open this photo, but Dan did. He says it's just a picture of a shit in a toilet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that fucking insane? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's gross. How uh, describe the shit? Was it like a clean shit or was no? It, it was really nasty. Nice. <laughs> oh man, it was bad, dude. That means that this person just has a picture of a shit on their computer for the purpose of emailing its people. Yeah.